Hello Aries, this is you versus them for the 22nd through the 28th. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, thank you for coming to check me out. Let's see what you guys had going on in the past. Ten of Wands. Feeling bogged down, burdened, feeling like you guys were carrying all of the weight on your shoulders um, regarding something from the past. Let's see. Feeling tired. I think I think you're trying to let things go, trying to let things be and move forward. But there's still something very present, I feel like, that you guys are dealing with here. Okay. And then the person that you are thinking about the seven of wands um on the flip side okay this is the front side this is the vice versa tarot that i'm using guys so this seven of wands is facing um towards you guys actually so what i'm getting from this is that this person may have been blocking you out um but now I'm getting that they're feeling like you guys are blocking them out. Um, I, I feel like they're in a dark spot. They're in a dark place. And they, they, they want to discuss something with you. Because I'm feeling like this person also feels kind of burdened. But for different reasons than you. I'm thinking that initially um, they set out to, to do something on their own separate and felt like that was going to be victorious for them but something has happened to where they no longer feel that way they feel like you guys are the ones that actually have come out on top and i'm getting that this person is, is feeling kind of down and out about that about a decision that they have made okay What's keeping Aries from this person? What's keeping Aries from this person? The Knight of Cups. You're no longer willing to carry all the weight on your shoulders. No, like, I'm not taking all the responsibility on for this relationship, for any relationship for that matter. I'm not carrying all the worries. I'm not trying to, you know, make something be there that's not. I'm not trying to make anyone love me. I'm just over it, okay? Going towards things that you feel like are beneficial for you and not allowing anything to get in your way. And I'm feeling like whatever happened with this individual, um, th that held you back for a while, okay? What's keeping them from you is the King of Swords. Hmm. They have a lot of um, just two cards come out for them already, and their cards are facing you. I'm feeling like this person um, was keeping them away from you guys is them not awakening to, you know, the things that they have done. They're not really, they're arrogant for one, I feel. I also feel that this person can be a little manipulative, maybe some, you know, hurtful with their words even. They do not like to take responsibility for themselves. Um, I, I don't get that this person is a great communicator either. And when they do communicate, it, it's not, it's hurtful communication. It's, it's vengeful, vindictive communication is what I'm getting from this, okay? So what's currently going on for Aries? Ace of Pentacles, starting over. I'm feeling like you guys, you know, there there's some kind of financial windfall um, that you are headed towards. That's what I'm getting here. Spending your time elsewhere, doing things that, um, building upon something, okay? This is initiating something that's going to be very fruitful for you. Let's see what's currently going on with them. There may be an offer that you guys have received too. Maybe a job offer. Um, could be an offer to date even. But I'm getting more um, you know, financial than anything from that. And with this person, they have the Queen of Wands facing away. 
what's currently going on with them. I'm thinking that you guys, this is you. That you're no longer lending your energy to a situation with this individual. That you have turned your back on it. You're, you're looking at the situation uninterested at this point. Uninterested in, um, you know, involving yourself with this again. Okay? And I think that this person... The thing is, you, you know them now. You had a chance, I feel, to really kind of step back, pull yourself from the situation, and and really look at things from a, a broader perspective so it's like you know the jig is up you you know them you know what they're capable of you know what their intentions are you know that sort of thing so you're not lending your energy to this situation um anymore what's influencing aries here what's influencing aries here Two of Wands, you're looking for something different in your life. Um, you're excited about it too because, you know, it's like for a while I feel like you guys were really, really stuck in the past. And I think now, you know, you're starting over and it may be like a business deal or something that you guys have going on that you are excited about. But definitely choosing a different path other than staying stagnant and feeling. Uh, bogged down and hurt in this situation. Hmm. What's influencing this individual here? What's influencing them? The Ace of Cups in the reverse. The fact that this person is cold. They need healing whoever this is, um, this is the kind of person that has a very, very hard time expressing positive emotions. Um, I feel like this person is definitely not in touch with their emotions, I feel. Um, I think that they are someone that really likes to, um, they, they like for people to show them attention, but they're not great at reciprocating, okay? This person definitely needs some healing. And they're not offering anything. And they're not they're not looking at themselves um, and saying, oh, there's something that I need to do better. That no, that's not what they're doing. Okay. What's coming in for Aries? What's coming in for Aries? Six of Swords. Moving on. Some of you are traveling. Um, some of you are just, you know, just Whatever you felt before in the past, I'm thinking that you're just kind of at the point where you're like, you know what, I give up. There's nothing else for me here. Um, I, I, it's just time for me to move on. It's time for me to let this go. Okay. Moving on. Not expecting anything from this individual, I feel. You, you don't have any expectations um, when it comes to this person. What's coming in for them? What's coming in for them? The Two of Cups. Hmm. Maybe this person is um, is like dating or, but I'm getting that this is more of how they're feeling for you because they're facing you. Even though the cars are on the back side, they're facing you. So I'm, what I'm getting here is that this person definitely wants to reunite with you, but they don't know how. I mean, it's just what I'm getting. They don't know how to. They don't know how to express. They don't know how to really show their love is what I'm getting here. But I'm going to pull some clarifiers for that Two of Cups for you guys. Because with these other dark cards, it's a little confusing. I know. Okay. So let's see what the blockage is. What is the blockage for Aries? The blockage. 
The hanging man. You're deciding that you're taking your hands off of it. This is it. You're not willing to do it anymore. anymore. Um, you're not willing to devote any more time and energy. It's like it is what it is, basically, okay? Blockage for them is the Queen of Cups. Again, they're not emotionally stable. They're not emotionally stable, okay? And, and they're really feeling like you are not willing to give them any more emotion, any more time, any more of your energy. It's like it's all about you guys. And then as I look at the top of this deck, there is the star. They feel like you guys are meant to be, I feel. But it's like they're not equipped with with the tools to be able to to really relay to you how they feel without coming across very abrupt um very aggressive even this person i feel hmm what's the advice for aries the advice for aries nine of wands to keep moving to keep moving keep going forward okay you got this you got this. You know, don't let this beat you down. Don't let it, like, excuse me, deter you from um, getting that Ace of Wands. Okay. Don't let it deter you from starting over with something new or someone new. <clears throat> the advice for them. Look at this. It's the devil. Not the devil, I'm sorry. This is this is strength in reverse. Wow. Wow. You know, I, I start itching when I when I see this because this person needs to face their fears. They need to face the their own demons inside what they need to work on what they need to heal i'm telling you this person has really got some issues but they're not they're not looking inside of themselves i'm feeling like this person likes to blame other people for whatever they whatever has gone wrong in their life um here okay we have leo we have leo strong um and aquarius i feel aquarius uh cancer pisces cancer scorpio um here hmm Maybe Gemini. Let's see. Sagittarius as well, but I'm feeling like this is more of your energy here. What is the outcome for Aries? The strength. Yeah. You will get up. You will be able to pick yourself up and go forward. Um, start over. You know, build yourself back up. Okay, if you were knocked down before, if you felt like you were being put down before, exhausted from this relationship, then I see you guys finding, digging deep, finding the strength within to pick yourself up and move forward with this and go on and go towards those things that you truly deserve in your life. Truly. Let's see. The outcome for them. Change change definitely Scorpio energy there look at this the outcome for them is they're gonna have to answer and I'm I'm just getting this person's gonna have a tower moment where they're gonna really be shook this is a death card here and you see the death warrior coming to these two individuals right here because something has to end here and a transformation needs to take place in this situation. 
looking right at this individual over here. It's, it's time, basically. Okay? That's what they're saying. It's time. Let's, let's face what we need to face here so so we can move on so we can get on with the get on and get on with our lives and and you know bring in those things that we deserve because I'm getting to this person um, there's a lot that they um, a lot of a lot of issues they have I feel and it probably stems from childhood honestly probably has nothing to do with you guys but um, this energy is not good. Let me go ahead and clarify this Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here for them? Why is the Two of Cups here for them? Why is the Two of Cups here? The Queen of Cups. See here? The Queen of Cups. You guys. You guys, okay? Turning your back. Look at this. Because see, this is a Queen of Cups here. And see how her back is turned. She's not looking at that shit no more. That's you guys, okay? And this is the Queen of Cups in the Vice Versa Tarot. She has her back turned. All right? So you guys may have Cancer or um, you know Pisces in your chart, Scorpio in your chart, but that's that's definitely you guys. I feel all right, guys. So that's what I have for you, and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon.